All right, folks, Friday Night Blitz Media Days. We're rocking and rolling, getting you ready for the 2023 season, and we're shining the spotlight on a crew from Buena Vista, the Perry McClure Fighting Blues. Join me right now. First year, actually, uh, your first year as the head football coach there, yes, but he's also the head wrestling coach, so he's been up there a long time, of course, Jeremiah Broken Burrow. So, Coach, welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. I have to practice saying that name because it's not how it looks, but there it is. Broken Burrow, a name that we are going to know all the time. Yes, I hope so. Good deal. Now, obviously, last year, uh, take it over uh, Coach Clark, who was there only that one year on an interim basis. But what's it feel like? I mean, obviously, you've been a head coach, but this is a little, a little different, not much with football. So just talk about that transition of moving over and being the head coach of football team. Yes, last year, I, um, I took a year off from coaching high school football. I had previously been an offensive coordinator at the school for like the last 12 years up till last year. But uh, it's, it's really exciting to be able to step into the helm as a head football coach. I really look forward to it. And then when you look at last year's team, went four and seven, did make the playoffs, but the, the last winning season, not too far ago, 2019. Uh, just talk about just your thoughts with the expectations of this year and, and what you see on your team. Yeah, our expectations take every Friday, one game at a time. We don't want to overlook nobody. Uh, they were four and seven last year. They lost a lot of kids off the previous year. Uh, a lot of the kids from the year before that went on to play a lot of D2 football. So uh, last year's team had a couple of decent football players. They played well. You know, their schedule was, I mean, you come out the gate, play Rockford County Riverheads, that's, you run into two good teams <laughs> right out the gate. So um, had a few stumbles, but we look to get back on track this year. You know, when, when you look at what this program means it's a story tradition and you've seen it you know up close being with the wrestling program the success you've had there but just what does football you you personally noticing us what does football mean to Perry McClure High School in Buena Vista uh, it means a lot I mean the people in Buena Vista they, they, they expect you to win I mean they, they want you to put a team on a football field it's very respectful com very competitive uh, Football's talked about a lot in, in the city of Buena Vista. I mean, if, if football's going well, I think the city goes well. Yeah, it's just how it's been since before I was a kid uh, growing up. Uh, you know, that's just been the way it is. All the five state titles that Bobby Williams won years ago and uh, Charlie Willis successor after him and on through the names, you can keep going. There's a lot of great football coaches. And then when you look at just what this year means I mean I'm looking at your schedule I mean you got a pretty strong schedule like you're opening it up with Rockbridge County uh, then you have Cumberland you go to James River play at Mountain View's Quicksburg you get a bye kind of in the middle of the season but mm -hmm. then and in fact if I look at the schedule you have four straight road games four at yeah. Fort Chiswell at Narrows but then you're on the back end you three straight home games Craig County Alta Vista Bath County, and you're at Eastern Montgomery. I mean, when you look at that, I mean, a bunch of road games, a bunch of home games. Just your thoughts about that, because I guess that buy in between the four right. road games. <laughs> yeah, it makes it seem like it's going to be five weeks. We're not going to be at home. Uh, but obviously, open up with Rockbridge County is it, is is a, a big ball game for us, especially a good game for the whole community and the county to get together. It is a rivalry game, but um, you know, we will go into every game, whether it's that game or one of the four games on the road, you know, it's just, we got to prepare mentally and physically every day in practice. Uh, and I think road games help you get prepared for the playoffs on down the road if we're lucky enough to get into the playoffs. A lot of, you got to read your seeds, a lot of traveling, so. Um, so who should we have our eye on on your team as uh, the, some of the spotlight players we should have our eyes on this year? A couple of spotlight players I'd say on our football team would probably be, um, I brought one of the young women with me today, was that uh, be Landon Catlett and uh, Anthony Gonzalez, you know, uh, got a returning starter on offense, would have been uh, is Evan Cook, uh, a heck of a football player, and um, my nephew, uh, Jackson Rokenborough. Uh, he's a pretty good football player. He's an upcoming junior, looking forward to having a good season. Yeah, hey, I, I saw your eyes kind of kind of sparkle when you talk about your nephew. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different when you, uh, you, you're coaching your nephew, you know, because I got a big brother that played. He played on the uh, 91 – football team at Lawson State Championship game. So uh, he's pretty intense, you know, but I think I'm going to have a good duo duo in the backfield with those two kids, with, with Jackson and Cook. You know, I think they could be they could be pretty dynamic with what we got going on, especially with some of the, the wide receivers and tight ends we're going to have. You know what's neat? I, we've talked to a lot of coaches who are coaching at their alma maters. I mean, they're either lifers or they're getting the opportunity to coach their alma mater. 
But when, when you look at it, I mean, it seems like, and I'm not saying coaches don't take pride, but coaches take pride in coaching your alma mater because they know the success and there's a pride level. And I'm sure, you know, obviously right. you've a long time wrestling coach, you've been there, but also the head football coach. I mean, there's something there about coaching at your alma mater. Yeah, uh, well, you, you know what the expectation, expectations are before you get there. You know, you, you're expected to win football games. And, um, you know, what, what it really boils down to is if we can go out and I can be as half as good as some of the guys before me, I think that I've done my job. You know, I was lucky enough to coach with uh, Mike Kraft for 12 years and the success that he had, you know, if, if I could be a half a coach that that fellow was, I think we can get Paramacool football back where it needs to be at. So, Coach, you've experienced so many Friday nights, mm -hmm. you know, as a coach, as a player and all that. But for Jeremiah Brokenboro, what does Friday nights in the fall mean to you, sir? Oh, it's great. When the lights come on on Friday nights, that's where it's at. You know, it, it, it make, makes you feel special. And it's going to even be more special as a head football coach being able to lead, lead these young men, student athletes out into, on the football field. So uh, I really look forward to that. I'll tell you what, Coach, you're awesome. I'm glad muscle memory, Jeremiah Brokenboro. That's that's big time name. JB, Coach JB. Tip. In the house. Thank you so much, sir. Thank and you. of course, Perry McClure Fighting Blues. They're gonna get their season started at home against Rockbridge County on August the 25th. We are getting ready for the Friday Night Blitz 2023 season with our media days as we're rocking and rolling, getting you ready for that 2023 season. Yeah, uh, time just flies. Uh, sucks that it's gonna be my last year, but I'm gonna make the most of it while I can. And you know, it, it seems like you guys have really revved up to kind of blaze your, your own path right now. I mean, I know you guys have been on some tournaments and stuff like that. What's it kind of been like so far from stuff that went on last season to now here we are right now? Um, well, in the past, I mean, we've had some good years. We've had some bad years. Uh, looking forward to have a good de good year this year. Um, just take it week by week. I like that. I mean, you got a new guy at the helm. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. that. What, what's that kind of been like so far? Uh, it's been good. Uh, we have a lot of trust in him. Me personally, I have a lot of trust in him too. Uh, he's a good guy on and off the field. And what are some things he's trying to instill in you? Uh, just fight every single minute of the game until the whistle blows and then when that last buzzer goes off. Okay. And, you know, Perry McClure, you know, I've talked to you guys a bunch of times. I know you've had a big boy back there, Brandon Watts coming in. But y'all kind of stuck with him and keep it close. Is that kind of like what we're going to be seeing this year or we might be seeing something a little bit different? We may be seeing a little different. Uh, I think we got a little bit more speed this year and some athletic ability. What are some goals and expectations? I know it's always about winning and chipping stuff like that. At least that's like the end game. But what are some things that you want to see out of yourself? And what are some things that you want to see out of Perry? Uh, out of myself, I want to just get better each week progressively. Um, I want to try and make a all district team and all that. And then for like the team success, I want to, I'd like to win the district and then Take it from there. And you know, how has he kind of been one of the team leaders on the team? Like I said, boy, you know, somebody's got to get into some boots, right? I know you guys have a lot of young talent, but how are you an extension of a coach? Um, I just get everybody fired up, and when they're goofing off or slacking off, and might be not going 100 percent, I make sure they get going 100 percent. You know, I know your fans are always clamoring. They're always out there. They're always. <laughs> they're always something to something amazing man. it's just wild it's, it's just so competitive um but talk a little bit about the fans that you guys have you know, the area that you guys live in they really root for you guys and they come out there yeah they come out with a lot of pride um they really show what it means to be a fighting blue and you know what does it mean to you to be a fighting blue uh to never back down from anybody and what does it mean when you put that, that football jersey on, that sweatshirt? 
Uh, I take a lot of pride in it. Um, it's kind of a privilege to wear this uniform. And who drafted you football? Uh, my dad. Did you play ever on the field? Yes, sir. So what's it like kind of being part of this kind of cool legacy now? I mean, you're gonna have, you're kind of like the next step, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's pretty wild, right? Yeah. Uh, what's that kind of been like? And, and, and does your dad expect you to kind of follow in his footsteps, or is it more like I would need you to do your own thing? Is that kind of what's going uh, on? Kind of follow into his footsteps, let things progress from there. Okay. I guess my last question is, y'all going to be lacing it up in this year. <laughs> How exciting is it to finally, you know, you get any footing off the ground? You're going to be running around. Y'all going to be catching balls. It's going to be like, you know, Randy Moss and Chris Carter out there. So what's it going to be like when you finally get to do that? It's real exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Cool beans. You got anything else? No, sir. Solid. Talk to me a little bit how you're kind of, you know, approaching your senior year. I know it's kind of bittersweet, but because you're going to be playing your last four game type of deal. Right. And what's it kind of been like so far? Um... You know, just kind of on that grind, just working out, getting ready, getting in shape. And uh, it sucks it's my last year, but I want to make the best of it. So, yeah. You know, this team, I've seen this team uh, battle against Galax a bunch of times. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've always seen that. It's always something. You know, this team last year was making strides, you know, and trying to build upon, uh, you know, all the other teams and stuff like that. How are you looking to kind of take what happened last season and kind of push forward to this year? Um, last season, that really wasn't that wasn't us. That wasn't the football that we played. Um, so we're just going to kind of erase that from our memory and just kind of look forward. We got a new coach, um, so I'm excited. Talk a little bit about your new coach. I know you had an interim guy last year, but he's a pretty known person. So like, talk a little bit about you, your new head coach. Um, well, he's been, he's been around here for quite some time. He's been the wrestling coach. Um, I like him personally. I like him. I like what he's doing, making the changes, and uh, I'm excited. I can't wait for week one. So you can talk to me. What are some of the like philosophies that he's trying to instill in you guys out on the field, or you know, do you guys have like mottos or anything like that? Um, the one motto that we wear on our shirts is "We bleed blue." Kind of, you know, we're gonna fight to the end. We're a team. Awesome philosophy. And you know, talk to me also about like what are some expectations that you had. Um, a little bit of a weird question, but yeah, uh, <laughs> I expect to win football games. I I trust what he's gonna do, and uh, that's the only thing I can really do is just trust in him, and which I do. I do trust in him, and yeah, that's all I got. What about uh, expectations and goals for yourself? Uh, I know that I need to step up as a senior to lead the lower classmen, and. Obviously, hopefully score some touchdowns and catch the football and make plays for the team to win games. And, you know, I, I know you guys have some younger talent, too, on that roster. I mean, how do you kind of, you know, sometimes you got to get them in shape, right? Right. It seems like you've kind of accepted that responsibility of being one of those guys. Like, you got to be a leader. I got to be – sometimes you got to be the bad guy, right? All right. You know, I mean, how do you kind of get some of these young guns to kind of be like, hey, let's get it together? Um – Kind of just show them, just show them the record from last season. Just be like, we can't have that again, and just kind of focus on that and pushing them in the weight room. Just being a leader um, on the field, off the field. You know, Terry McClure. I mean, I know you already know this, but there's a lot of body athletics, right. uh, whether or not it's you know the basketball team. You know, you, you name it, you guys. Um, how much pride do you have when you put that thing to the jersey? Um, it's an honor. It's a privilege. Um, not everybody gets to wear it, even. You know, they don't choose to play the sport. Um, but I feel good wearing this jersey. I love it. You know, how much fun are you looking at this season? Uh, that's the one thing that coach is saying, that we're going to win football games and we're going to have fun doing it. And right now, you know, we're doing seven on seven. It's just working out, and it's been su such a great time with our friends. And I just I can't wait till the season starts. I really can't. I mean, how excited is it going to be when you finally get to, you know, get a pad? <laughs> that's still a thought. If that's if people still know who that is, but like, you know, how exciting is it gonna be when you finally get to lace it up and everything? Uh, it, it's gonna feel good. You know, it's been a this off season has kind of felt long. I miss football so much. Just watching football highlights on YouTube, and uh, it's my last year, so I gotta make the best of it. And you know, who kind of?
kind of got you into this? Um, I guess myself. Um, I've just been watching football for so many years, and I've been played it for a couple. And yeah, I just I love it. Is there anybody else in? Um, go blue.